You're safe with Brandar. Perhaps we should look for the corner club. Perhaps he is wetting his whistle somewhere. Hmm? I think down this way. Yes? Yes. Sounds like something's happening in here. Oh no, it's pretty quiet. Yes, this is who I'm looking for. Holia, hello to your friend. I welcome you as a friend of my friend, Brandar, but I wish to go to my friend's bookstore, and these troublesome fools are in my way. I've tried to persuade them, but they hate my race, and I fear there will be violence. Perhaps if you speak with them, but be careful, and be ready. Interesting. What is it about your friend's bookstore that interests you so? My friend Jabasha the Khajiit has a bookstore, Jabasha's rare books. If you will agree to travel together with me there, I will answer your questions. But before we go, I beg you to try and persuade these troublesome fools to leave us alone. Otherwise, I fear they will attack us the moment we go to leave. Tell me about the fools. The sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Morag Tong honor to slay them. But I don't want to trouble my friend Serlis Golmus by fighting in his club. I have to go to my friend's bookstore where we can talk in peace. If you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. Or if you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there might be bloodshed. Might be indeed. Hello, thug. Shut up and butt out, Outlander. It's the filthy lizard we're talking to, not you. We both have tails, friends. You're in it with both of us. This rotting piece of trash ought to be chained up somewhere, not running around loose. Hmm. Perhaps I should just stab you. His kind aren't welcome here. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. How about I intimidate you? I don't want any trouble. Just take it easy. Okay, okay. He's just a filthy lizard. He can't help it. I'll leave him alone. That's right, you will. You're in it with both of us! I am a berserker, a thief, a bard. You can't handle me. Mm. I think it's okay, friends. Are we ready to travel together to Jabash's rare books? When we arrive at my friend's bookstore, I will answer your questions. Yes, please follow me to Jabash's rare books. Thank you, Brandar. I will follow you. We will speak further when we get there. You. Keep your hands to yourself. These racist fools. You're safe with Brandar, Argonian. Don't talk to that woman, she's very stuck up. She knows not uh, a good thing when it passes her, hmm? I believe I've been to Jabasha's, it's just down this way, hmm? Yes, thank you very much. We should be free from distraction here. Now, I said I'd tell you about the Nevering cult so you can report back to Caius. I don't know any of the Six House cult, but I'll tell you what I do know. Well, please begin. To understand the Neverine cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nerevar means something very different to Ashlanders from what he means to the Dunmer the Great Houses. You should also know about the persecution of the Nerevine and the legacy of the Fault Incarnate, for the Nerevine cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunmer. Here's a summary for Caius, but ask your questions, and I'll answer in detail. Tell me a history about these Ashlanders. In the First Era, the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Dunmer clans were much alike, but after the First Council and the formation of the Great Houses, Ashlanders had been steadily forced into the poorest and most hostile lands. Now the nomadic tribes look to the prophesied return of Nerevar for restoration of their ancient rites and religious traditions. Nerevar. And he has uh, the Nerevin cult, you say? Yeah, I gave a summary of that to you for Caius. Feel free to read it, of course. I just may do that, friend. And, uh, who is the false incarnate? In the past, some have claimed to be the reincarnated Nerevar. The most recent is known as Peakstar, a figure of legend among the Waste Tribes for the last 30 years. The temple says these false incarnates disprove the prophecies, since the false incarnates fail and come from nothing. But the mystical Nevering cult glorifies rather than shrinks from contradictions, citing the appearance of failed incarnates as certain proof of Nerevar's coming rebirth. Interesting. And uh, what of the Great Houses? In modern times, Morrowind is ruled by five great houses, House Lalu, House Redoran, House Telvanni, House Indorel, and House Dress. 
Great House's culture is partly defined by its roots in ancient Dunmo tribal clans, and partly by later imperial influences from Western cultures. The Great House's culture is only that of the narrative Dunmer culture. The, co the Great House's culture is only one of the native Dunmer cultures of Morrowind. The, the other native culture, the Ashlander culture, is the nomadic mar barbarian culture, largely untouched by imperial influences. Ah, that sounds like the Khajiit. I would not call them barbarians to their face. Just as a little tip for you, Mr. Scaleskin. <laughs> ah, I think that covers most of my questions. I am uh, quite interested about how they are sort of hypocrites in the way that the, f the false incarnates glorified the proof of, of Nerevar's return. Quite interesting indeed. Do you know anything about disturbing dreams? I'm sorry, I don't know why you tell me this. In the old country, they set great store by dread, dread and omens. But I'm an educated creature. Dreams mean nothing. They're just fancies. Imagination. Perhaps you're right, sir. I thank you very much, Mr. Julia. Let us uh, have a look at your, your notes. Hmm. The history of Ashlanders and the Nerevin cult. In the first era, barbaric Dunmer culture settled Dunmer clans. The great houses and nomadic Dunmer tribes like the Ashlanders were roughly equal in numbers and wealth. Under the civilized peace of the Grand Council and with the strong central authority of the temple, the economic and military power of the settled Dunmer quickly outstripped that of the nomadic Dunmer. The nomadic Dunmer were marginalized in the poorest and most hostile lands, in particular into the Vardenfell wastes. For the Ashlanders, the return of a reincarnated Nerevar represents a long-for and largely romanticized golden age of Nerevar's peace, where the nomadic tribes enjoyed equality with the settled Dunmer, and before the Dunmer people had for the most part abandoned traditional ancestor worship for the autocratic theocracy of the tribunal temple. Nerevar of the Ashlanders. This is the story of Nerevar as an Ashlander might tell it. In ancient days, the Deep Elves and a great host of Outlanders from the west came to steal the land of the Dunmer. In that time, Nerevar was the great Khan and war leader of the house people, but he honored the ancient spirits and used the tribal law, and became as one of us. So, when Nerevar pledged upon his great ring of ancestors one clan under moon and star to honor the ways of the spirits and the rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people to fight a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunmer tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Dwemer were defeated and their evil magics destroyed, and the outlanders driven from the land. But after this great victory, the power-hungry Khans of the Great Houses slew Nerevar in secret, and setting themselves up as gods, neglected Nerevar's promises to the tribes. But it is said that Nerevar will come again with his ring and cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring will make good on his promises to the tribes to honor the spirits and drive the outsiders from the land. Persecution of the Nerevin Cult The Tribunal Temple regards the mysticism and prophecy of the Nerevin Cult as primitive, primitive superstition. <laughs> The Ashlander ancestor cults and the Nerevin in particular have always decried the worship of living Dunmer as abominations, suspecting the unnatural lifetimes of the tribunal to be signs of profane sorcery or necromancy. Though the authoritarian and intolerant temple priesthood has always been inclined to tolerate Ashlander ancestor cult practices, they have always threatened Nerev Nerevin claimants with death or imprisonment. And while generally tolerant of various cult worships, cults hostile to the Empire emperor and the empire and threatens members of such cults with imprisonment or death the ordinators are allowed a free hand when dealing with outlawed cults like the nerevin peak star and other incarnates in the past others have claimed to be the reincarnated nerevar of prophecy the most recent is known as peak star a mysterious figure who has reportedly appeared and disappeared among the waste tribes over the last 30 years the temple notes that these false incarnates discredit the nerevin prophecy singularly Singularly and illogically, the Ashlanders acknowledge a history of false claimants, calling them failed incarnates, but they regard them as proof of the validity of the prophecies rather than a contradiction. Among the Nerevin, there is a fable of the caravan of incarnates where the spirits of failed incarnates dwell. The Nerevin cult is a mystical cult, and it glorifies rather than shrinks from contradictions. Very interesting. So it seems like this racism is something that cannot be stopped. The Nerevin are determined to have their way in their own lands. 
Whether it is true or not, I cannot say. But I think I have done enough reading for now. I must be off to uh, another quarter in order to find these fellows. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, we need Ad Hiranir, the Khajiit Thieves Guild operative in St. Olms. And also Mera Milo, Temple Priestess in the Hall of Wisdom. Interesting. I don't know where these places are. I remember Offered being taken to Redoran, was it? Halalu? Oh, it is still raining out here. Nope, nope, nope. See if I can find my way under the rains. Hmm. Nope. I don't do it. Not acceptable to me. I think we shall uh, hang out in the foreign quarter for just a little bit. We have made some friends. We have bought some skooma. Might as well share the wealth, hmm? One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see.